All right. Hello again, YouTube. Welcome back to some more From the Depths. Now, first, good news. I have found the much larger blob of blue tack that I usually use to stick my microphone down, uh, which has gone missing for a bit. So the microphone should not be moving around as much, so we shouldn't have any... In theory, shouldn't have any instances today of me knocking the thing over. I'm also actually recording today. Hooray! Sorry the uploads have been way more sporadic recently. I had a day I thought I would be recording this week, and it turned out that was wrong. And then even when I got to that day, it turned out to be way busier for way longer than expected. So that also didn't end up being recording day. So that's why I'm coming to you live on a winter sunlit... Uh, well, live is completely the wrong word, but not live on a winter uh, sunlit Friday afternoon. Now, I wanted to address, before anything else, we're building our battleship for the Finest Hour campaign. It's coming along okay. I wanted to address one of the comments someone put up about the uh, the guns. Uh, so they mentioned that the, the gun structure is not the most efficient. You're better off going for four clips rather than uh, more loaders. So we'll maybe do a bit of an experiment with that, if I can work out a way to, make, to, to lay that out. They also said that I'm using a bad shell because it's got saber rounds and explosives. But, um... You might have jumped the gun on that one a bit, sir, perhaps? We're, we're not. We're using hollow points, solid, and fragment uh, things. So I don't know what that was about. I guess they maybe posted that one early in the video before they got to that point. Uh, but yes, so, at the moment, and I believe they're limited it to it as well, they can fire at 15.8 rounds a minute. We'll try refitting the guns and see if we can get a higher fire rate than that. Oh, we need to actually be on the construct. We might end up spending longer on individual systems for this ship, but that's because uh, this one has to work. We're not... We might not get any second chances given the size of the foe we're fighting, so... So we had, what, 20 loaders, I think, on each, bar each gun. And admittedly, I knew that was expensive because the, the loaders are much more expensive than the clips. So it might be when he says efficient, he means more that, but I'm assuming that it will affect the fire rate as well. The only thing is, we now have to work out how the heck, and we'll probably have to refit some bits of the gun itself as well, like rebuild the extra structure. Shame we're going to stick with the six meter clips, which we are. How do we fit <laughs> that many six meter loaders in? We'll have to... Are we going to be able to do six meters? Because we're going to have to attach gauge increases either from the top or bottom. I suppose they could go round the gun. On the bottom, couldn't they? Uh, if we go... It's actually not a bad idea, because it uses up some of the empty space we weren't using. If we do like a loop that goes all the way around. I should add some more cooling units as well. And then if we did... Theoretically, we could fit, what, at least three? Well, if we put one... One could go here. Hang on, let's lay these out. Uh, so we need to leave a one gap on each side, but we can potentially Tetris some of them together a bit. We have one there. Another one could fit horizontally. So you could fit three in a lot, three in line. But you'd only have to go. For two, would it be best to have then another two there? And there, I think. We'll try that. Uh, so we go like that, and that, and then we have another one there and there. Oh, but hang on, that one won't be able to... We don't really have the optimal size for this, do we? Um, hmm. So we'll put another one there, so we could easily get we could easily get three in that'll have four clips. I we could definitely get some in that would have less than four. But I don't know that there's any unless we cut. Hmm. Again, no. The, the problem is attaching it because we still want to stack six, two six high magazines. In, in theory, at least. Um, might be why a lot of their turrets use smaller. Uh, loaders, because it is difficult to do this. Hang on. But presumably that's... 
that would be most space efficient if it was long enough, but we can't extend the gun. We could have it so just one, one of them just says three, but will that lead to... It's not ideal because it would be slightly uneven, but it would function at least. Um... Yeah, we could put one there, but obviously that doesn't... That also wouldn't get everything. Um, hmm. Or could we stack them vertically? We could try stacking them vertically, actually. Hang on. Or horizontally. We definitely got the space for it. Uh, so if we were to go... Yeah, hang on. Hang on, this might be the way... This might be the way to do it. There we go. Almost right the way up. And then we go... This might be a horrible way to do it in practice, but... Yeah, is it long enough to... Yeah, we might have to stagger... Oh, how do we attach it? How do we attach this one rather and still have... Um... Still have it be able to load? Hmm, that's annoying. We could even put them there and take out the middle column. Set the load, set the recoil absorbers in the way. We could move it potentially, but if we took out the middle and front columns, hang on, does it detach from the gun entirely when I do that? No. Okay. Okay, so say we're just attaching from the back, right? I could potentially rejig the center section of the gun. Uh, oh, this means this is no longer attached. Which is a problem. I think if anything, we can actually run it across here for the moment. Up there, and then cool units. Oh, they dropped a gauge. That's not right. We must have knocked out a uh, gauge increaser. Yeah, 400 meters. Okay, yeah. So if we if we offset these, we'll need to do another. Add a propeller here. Turning into a slightly messy gun internal, but it will probably be worth it if this works. It's actually more efficient. We have one every two, but we wouldn't have the other one. I'm not sure whether this is more efficient or not, but we'll try it. Okay, so how many do we get in with that on each side? We get, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's only six loaders. There's a lot less. I don't necessarily think this is that space efficient, but it might be because I'm doing them in a bit of an awkward way. But let's try. But in theory, if we have six times four clips, and if it is the clips that makes the difference, that'd be what, 24? So it would effectively have gained a few, effectively four extra auto loaders, which were what was slowing the fire right now, to be fair. It's got to be worth a try, at least, it's, it, just because it's interesting. And then this one will be a visible clip, so we can see what's in it. Right. Then we need... Whether these would be less sturdy or more in this configuration. Oh, have I got that wrong? I have got this wrong. This one's in the wrong place. These could be stacking tighter. Yeah, I've got to at least make sure these things are actually arrayed correctly. Right. I'm going to do this weird thing. Still be the same number, but it'll be slightly lower down. In fact, could we? Yeah, we could even fit another one in. We'll have to be a bit careful with the armor, but we could potentially get seven on each, which would actually be effectively twenty-eight clips. So this could actually be quite a good improvement. But 
we'll see how it goes, and we are going to be quite careful with how we... Oh, no, mind you, the deck. That's not even a deck level, is it? You know, this armor's actually too low. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, there should be plenty of deck armor in the way of that, but we'll make sure to keep it solid around the guns because they're so flat on the top. Right, so in theory... Oh, shoot. Are those in the way? Or... Oh, no, these ones could be... Okay, these ones could be attached from the back. So we can't attach those ones from there, but the rest can go on, on this side. And building that one down like that. Could there be another one there? No, okay, because it's the first one hit. In fact, because it doesn't really matter about being even, we just want it as fast as possible. Is there anywhere else we could fit? Or are these on? No, because they're on that side. But I think there are some on the side, yeah. I think as we can put them in here, we might as well. Bet you know they probably do want to be even because I just realised we'll have one side loading at an even rate and it'll throw the fire rate off. Right, save. Oh, shoot. We weren't meant to save because we might have to change it later. Oh, uh, well. I guess we'll just have to roll with this and hope it actually is better. Auto loader limit 13. Oh, are you kidding me? Is it actually worse? Have I just saved it and it's actually worse now? Can we go back a version? We can't. Uh... Why did that guy say f 4 was better? Uh, because unless I'm missing something, this is inherently worse. We had a 15 fire rate before. I suppose it is all... I suppose... Is it much cheaper? So there's 6 meter letters of 420. They are cheaper. We have given up about a shot a second, but... Or about a shot a minute or two, but... I think two shots a minute, but it is cheaper. The limit is still the reload absorbers, not the shells. Can we fit any more... Load is in. Potentially offset stacker pair in here, I suppose, that they only have one thing each, but it would be an alpha. That would mean we'd get a stronger alpha strike, but then we'd lose firepower. What? Hmm. Apparently, I've got to be a little bit careful listening to the commenters, but I suppose you said efficient rather than necessarily highest output, but even still. Oh, shoot. We don't see. This is a case of it updates once it's... No, yeah, it's just worse. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling you... Uh, <laughs> not going to call you out too hard because you might have meant this, but I am going to point out... Uh, whoever it was that said that, we now have a worse fire rate. Uh, but... To be fair, it's still good. We do store more ammo, so we'll be able to continually fire for longer. A lot longer. Not that that'll really matter. It'll probably be reloading faster than it runs out, but... Yeah, hmm. Oh, is there, like, an overclock setting? Or is that something else? That might be railguns I'm thinking of. Maybe that's an old thing they took out. I think that is... Yeah, it's replaced the other turret. On well, the plus side, recall is still effectively zero. Um, in with less uh, thingies. I'm tempted to put some more loaders in just for the... Even if it's just alpha strike. Even if like these will not sustain fire for long. Because we can still fit quite a few in here. We offset stack these as well. And these will be stacked one to three. One to two even, but they'll, they'll alternate sides. I have one here. One here, one here, and then same here. We'll try this out. I'd like to at least, for all the work we've done, I want to at least match the fire rate we used to have. I don't want to just have an outright worse gun, effectively. Um, uh, yeah, that and like that. These ones will just be 
straight across. Yes, I know they're holding twice as many shells, but that's just how we're, we're rolling with this one. Might as well, right? Seems we've got the space for it. The thing is, the camera is a bit awkward down here. Oh, we should be putting one with a P on, right? Yeah, that's a lot easier. Oh, shoot. Why did it go so far back? Oh, we went forwards, not back. Okay. Um, why do I say that? And now I don't know where I'm building. Uh, let's see. Last two, so they want to be like that. Okay. So the the increased rate of fire won't last forever, but with how many loaders there are, this might be okay, actually. This should allow us to boost the rate of fire even further, and it should hopefully be consistent on each guns, each gun if I've measured this right. These also won't load as quickly, though, because I'll have less loaders, so we do have to be a bit careful with this. Right. Oh, oh, uh, ammo, oh, ammo intake limit, 19.7, auto loader limit, 18.5, okay. We do still have, I believe, at the end of the day, less, um, oh, 18.5, actually, is that straight up better? That might be better. I think that might actually be better. Okay, so we do we have at least a fire rate that's almost identical. I think it might actually be higher. I can't remember exactly what we had. I can't remember if it was 15 or 18. Uh, and it should be cheaper because we had... Well, let's check it quickly. So we had 20 loaders on each gun before. One, two... Oh, God. Hang on. TV. Oh, wait, does it tell you how many you have? If I go to the gun itself, it might tell me, right? I don't know if it tells me exactly, but... Oh, stats. It'd be here, if anyone, wouldn't it? Well, hang on. I'll count manually. One, two... Three... Ah, forget it. <laughs> I'm not going to try and count in that mess, but... I'm pretty sure we have less than 20 on each gun now. Quite a bit. Uh, a lot more, sh like, of the, the racks, but they're relatively inexpensive, so... I think we probably at least not made it any more expensive. So, we know what we have to do next. Uh, well, actually, firstly, fix that turret cap up to the height it's meant to be at. Um, because the deck level is going to be there. Actually, no, that's right. So, in fact, what we need to do is armor. I think before we build the, the turret cap. So, I'd really prefer this turret not to explode like we've been having some issues with. With our turrets. Uh, heavy armor is probably too expensive, so we'll go with metal. Uh, of course, we do need someone to fix it on. This will be heavy, just to make sure this doesn't snap. Not that I think it's going to, but. Okay, and this that should leave that fairly solid. We can't put anything in there. It's not the best protection because ideally we'd have it across the entire front of the gun, but it will be better than nothing and it will actually move with the weapon itself. We'll also build it a secondary cap even though it will have deck armor. Uh, because we're spending a lot of money on this ship. Why take the risk? Um, of it not being able to stand up to what it needs to. Yeah, we do have a budget. We do have to keep an eye on that, but... As I said, there's, it's worth spending out a bit more, because we can afford to if we have to. It's not what we want to do, but we can. Um, and if it's worth it to make something that will actually work, it's worth spending a bit more money on. Frankly, this applies to real life a lot of the time. It sometimes is worth spending out a bit more to get something good, rather than always cheaping out necessarily. Right, so deck level's going to be there. Uh, that would mean that, yep, the turret itself would start there, so. 
Okay, well, let's have a quick look how they build theirs. Sort of armor they're putting on them will probably actually exceed it, if anything. Um, no, cruise marine. That's what we've been basing on. We've been basing it off the, uh, the Sharnhos, which is a, apparently a pocket battleship. It was basically a case of, um, for what I understand, it was post World War One, I, I think. Uh, the Allies went. We don't want to repeat it last time. Yeah, that went well uh, in the long run. But uh, we don't want to repeat it last time. We'll limit the size of the ships nations like Germany can build. So the this was like, if I remember correctly, this was like as big as they could build. It was good quality, I think. But at least I assume it would have been as good quality as they could get it for the size. But it was smaller than what the others could build. So they've got a four meter slope. Uh, actually, no, what is that slope? Hello? Oh, it's paused completely. Oh, it's a four meter slope hidden under a slightly bigger than four meter slope. Okay. Let me put the. Where is the actual. Okay, so they've actually buried the mantlet itself under some armor. Back a little bit, and then they've got about. Looks like a layer of heavy. A layer of metal, and then a layer of heavy. That's not a bad idea, frankly. And the sides is one of the other bits I wanted to look at. Rangefinders is just cosmetic, but yeah, so it looks like a layer of heavy and a layer of metal around the the working parts. Okay, I think we're going to copy that exactly, but not or well, not design for design, but we are going to copy that methodology exactly because that seems quite sensible to me, frankly. Deck's going to be there, so it doesn't need to go down any lower than that. Well, we'll armor the back just to make sure it doesn't get hit from behind, and we'll add a floor plate to hopefully stop any explosions sneaking around. It can sort of propagate a bit weirdly, so we won't worry so much from the. Not going to be famous last words if I say we won't worry so much from the top. We don't need to do. We'll do the middle with just metal. We will fill it, but I think for the top we'll just do metal armor. Uh, we will have a slight weakness to air craft, but I mean, it's a battleship, it'll have that anyway, and also it kind of feels on theme, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, the only thing I don't like so much is the whole fact the barrels will clip through the hull. But I don't know what the best way to get around that visually is. Might sort of I'll sort of copy the shape of the turret, but I think we'll do yeah, we'll do our own spin on it. So I don't like the fact it doesn't look like it can move, you know what I mean? I don't want to leave it vulnerable either, but it doesn't look like that. I suppose it doesn't look too bad if it's clipping through a bit. I don't know what the chances, or what I think the chances of the shell sneaking through there are. Well, we could do, um... Could do that. It still doesn't look like we could click through it, but... It looks kind of neat. Yeah, we probably need to do a function over form here. That's it annoys me. Um... <clears throat> well, we could do... Yeah, we could do my original idea of that. It's a bit shell trappy, but then again, any shell that hits that was going to hit the gun anyway, so at least that looks like it covers it. It's still rotate upwards quite far. Hmm. Might do a bit of aesthetics here, actually, if anything. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? I like it. I would like this for a Anita ship. I actually would, might even use that for Anita ship, but... My sense of aesthetics is not letting me just do that, because... 
because it really doesn't look right to me. But what we will do is that. It looks okay, I think. Again, if a shell hits that bit of the turret anyway, it's going to hit the main bit. What we could even do is, yeah, that. A little bit more expensive, but there we go. So Sonic hits here. It might hit the heavy armor. It shouldn't hit the firing piece beneath. I think I'll be happy enough with that. A faux range fire. In fact, no, let's thicken the... No, we could do that. Yeah, let's thicken the sides up a bit as well. Use the good old app, okay, because I like how it looks, basically. Is there no... No, there kind of isn't, is there? The rangefinder there. A little deco in a panel there to make it look like it's filled. back of it so it looks more like an actual turret. Hmm. It sort of looks too sci-fi. I, want, I do want it to be functional. I don't want it to be too large because that actually does hurt performance a bit, but because it makes it a bigger target. But yeah, we'll stick with this for now. Stick with this for now, and we'll add our fake rangefinder, of course. I think, if I remember correctly, hang on, it was. I know what it was originally, but there might be some better ones, right? Because this has some. Not there. It's detection. Radar and detection blocks. Yeah, wasn't there some slightly better ones here that I thought we could use for a, a rangefinder? That's funny, but far too big. Um, director parts? Director rangefinder? Oh, hang on. These would be functional as well if we needed them to be. If we... Yeah, hang on. Hey, now that looks alright. <clears throat> Look at that, little railings and all. Yeah, I like that. That looks better. Okay. So add some ladders, if I can remember where they are. Look, welded ladders. Oh, right, yes, we've got the... Hmm. That might be a problem. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, that's a deco, isn't it? Oh, we can't, still can't attach them because of that. Uh, there you go, it's got a ladder, quote-unquote, up the side. And is there anything else we do here? Apart from replace more, put in more heavy armor, obviously. Um, anything we could do on top to make it look like it's got a bit more detection equipment on it? Oh, hang on. Yeah, how do the decorations look... These might make quite a nice looking gun barrel. Uh, how do the decorations work on a gun? Do they move with it? Because I have a feeling they do, but I don't know for certain. If we do two? Nope. Five by five. Oh, right. It's um, one of these ones that's offset a bit, isn't it? Oh, whoops. That deleted it. Uh, yeah, is there a taper that doesn't have the offset? Oh, they both have that. Well, we can offset it. Eight meters, yeah. We just have to offset it ourselves manually. Oh, that looks right. Yeah, okay. So we've got five there. Five there. How's that look? Oh, that's way too thick. Okay.
Yeah, it's sort of, yeah, like that. Slightly thicker than the main gun. Let's see how it looks. Forward back positioning. It's looking kind of like a, um, again, kind of looking a bit neater, more of a neater weapon. About there. Let me play that with a mirror. How does that look? Does it move with the bow? It does. It's kind of interesting looking. Why is... It's kind of interesting looking, but why is it different? back in the right place. Okay, so I guess just decorations applied to the barrel, just move with the barrel. Which might also mean I want to do something with the end of it, um, to make them look nice. What I might even do here is... And then... Oh no, I want a uh, heavy barrel, don't I? Okay, I thought that would look nicer than that. I like that. I kind of like it when they get a bit wider towards the end, like a it's a kind of anti-aircraft gun, but yeah, it doesn't look right on this. Like I say, the problem is if I try to do too much, it starts to look like a a neater warship, not a uh, semi-historical one, which has been what we've traditionally gone for. Which it kind of has a bit of that issue already, anyway. I, Is it because of that top curve? Hang on. I know I'm taking a lot of reference on this thing, but... Inspiration, flattery, etc. Oh, okay, so this one... Sort of angles down the sides. That is something ours does not do. Probably should, so... Let's do that quickly. I'll have to end this episode in a minute anyway, because I need to get a few recorders today, but... Uh, well, transitions, right? Probably offset separate. Yeah. I end up rebuilding the sides, but seeing as I'm not super happy with those anyway. I tell you what, I like that shape better. I do like that shape better already. Um, yeah, I think it won't look quite as realistic as the real ones, obviously, but I think we might even go with that. Um, if we go up until that round it to bulk out the deco on that. Oh, I think it looks okay. Oh, we could. Oh, they'd be in the way. They'd probably be in the way. We could potentially do that on the higher turret. We could also do the thing of sticking AA on top of the turret. But yeah, I think that looks all right. So what we'll do, we'll just quickly... We'll have to put some raised mounts in. Of course, these are at the wrong height. Or well, this one is, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> let's quickly copy that gun in. Uh, so we'll just mode. Uh, pocket, pocket, battleship, main gun, gun turret. Oh, and also make sure we're not building on the old one. Got two. in place, and then we need the one at the, I suppose we need the one at the rear, which I haven't built an armor casing for. Huh. I thought I had for all of them, but okay. Oh, then we need to quickly dig out the pit for this. Ah. Trying to wrap up and realizing I've missed a load of things.
I want to see what the, uh, well, A, how they look in a broadside, and B, what the cost of this is with the full three turrets fitted, because that, once we've got those three in, there will be extra cost added, but that probably will be the majority cost of the ship. So, this is kind of the, the litmus test of the sense for how much this thing's actually going to cost. Right. I also just noticed that the flat plates of the bomb actually aren't stopping the gun rotating, which is interesting. I thought I'd have to take those out, but I've just realised they're not actually stopping it. The cost is 465000 It will get more expensive because we've got to fit the anti-air and the secondaries, but I think this might end up being quite a... This might end up even coming in under budget. But we shall see, because there's still a fair bit to do. But yes, hopefully you've enjoyed. Let's fire them at the uh, Sharnhost. Sorry, buddy, I know you're helping us test, but... Oh, they might not even hit. Oh, no, we've got a hit. How that hit, dude? Yeah, what, well, for a glancing hit, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, hopefully you've all enjoyed. As I say, I make games as well as playing them, so if you want to help out the channel, go check those out, or maybe come join us on the Discord, come chat, if you want to share your designs as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.